Hi, this is Gary DeBach of Puyallup, Washington, and I'm here once again at the Rockwork 4 Ocean Cliff in Tillamook County, Oregon. This is the last day of my de expedition. This is June 29th of 2015. And I'm sorry that Kiwi propagation has crashed already, so I can't give you a uh, antenna demonstration, but I'll show you my humble setup here. Um, I have an ICF 2010 spotting receiver. It has a modified loop stick, as uh, I'm very famous for making. Um, the main ultralight radio I use is the Sea Crane Skyway, and I can only tune one frequency at a time. I have a log book here of what I've gotten during this de expedition. Well, the last uh, signal I received this morning was Newstalk ZB on 1035, very strong. And uh, now that everything's crashed, it's my last chance to make a video for this de expedition. So, uh, moving away from my dirty car, I'm here at the cliff edge, which I'm sure you've seen many times in uh, other videos. Um, plunges straight down to the Pacific, 400 feet or 122 meters. And the foreground here is the 17 inch FSL antenna. To my knowledge, this is the largest one in the world. 129 Russian surplus ferrite rods and uh, this antenna is on a PVC stand. It's covered up for foul weather and um, I've used this antenna to receive numerous uh, New Zealand and Australian stations during this de expedition. Uh, this antenna is not that easy to transport. It weighs about 36 pounds. And uh, the construction cost of this antenna, I hope my wife is not listening, was just over $1,000. Um, I'll move over to a slightly smaller model here. This is the 15 inch FSL. Also designed for de-expedition use, that means it is completely uh, waterproofed and has very rugged construction because Murphy's Law loves these places. So it's actually designed to survive a pretty nasty fall with about seven layers of pipe insulation as padding for the ferrite rods. And um, this ferrite sleeve loop antenna here, as I say, is slightly smaller. This one only has 111 of the Russian surplus 200 millimeter ferrite rods. Um, during foul weather like this morning where there was a little mist, I keep the ultralight radio covered up. And this setup here is for remote recording. During this de-expedition, I've been spending so much time with the Perseus de-Xers that I've uh, received their influence and I set up a remote recording on a frequency of choice, which in this case it's set up for 531. Uh, I had the Rockwork 4 turnoff all to myself this morning, which was a big change. The first time uh, during this five days. Uh, it was very crowded here with three DXers on Saturday morning. Uh, just to find a final look down at the ocean. It's not a very good day for views. <laughs> um, I had a, a dreary mist here which made the session a little bit interesting. But anyway, uh, right along Highway 101 here. Very busy and very noisy traffic. Uh, location. This cliff goes up very, very high above the site. And I think this is one of the secrets here for the great propagation. Uh, the cliff extends up, uh, I think, a good 
500 feet above this site, uh, it's part of a mountain. This entire site was blasted out with dynamite. So, um, that's the end of this de-expedition here. I'm about ready to pack up and head home. I appreciate you watching this very much, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.